problem we've been asked to determine the forces in each member. So we start our solution by finding the reactions. Summation of moments around point G. So we have 5 kN multiplied by 2 minus 5 multiplied by 4 minus 5 multiplied by 6 plus on the other side to the other direction we have ax multiplied by its distance 3 meter equals to 0 and from this we get ax equals to 20 kilonewtons then summation of fx equals to 0 summation of forces in x directions equals to 0 then we have ax 20 kilonewton minus gx equals to 0 and hence gx equals to 20 kilonewtons the third step of finding the reactions is applying the third equation of equilibrium which is summation of fy equals to 0 then we have gy minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 equals to 0 so gy equals to 15 kilonewtons then we move to, to the joints first we start by determining the forces acting at point at joint D since we just have two members and one force acting on that joint joint D can be illustrated as shown here we have this force 5 kN acting directly at that point so we assume that we have here tension just by inspection we call it F E D or D E and here let's assume its direction to be like that it's called also F C D and its angle can be de determined just by applying we have here we have here two meters uh, three meters and five and four and five here so no need to calculate no need to calculate the angle so we apply the first equation of equilibrium we have summation of f y equals to zero forces acting in the y direction we have minus 5 kN plus FDE we just want the vertical component of force FDE so we have FDE multiplied by 3 over 5 equals to 0 since there is no other forces acting no other force acting in that direction and from here we get FDE equals to 8.3 kN Newton next summation of FX equals to 0 we have FCD minus 8.33 multiplied by 4 or 5 
that is the horizontal component of that force equals to zero then FCD equals to 6.664 kilonewtons now we move to joint C a joint C summation of FY's FY equals to zero we have FCE minus 5 kN equals to 0 then FCE equals to 5 kN next summation of FX equals to 0 and according to that we have FBC equals to 6.664 kilonewtons and we have here according to the representation of that point we have compression and here FCE is in is in tension and in joint G we have forces in the in the same line of action like FGF in the same line of, of action of uh, 20 and FAG is in the same line of action of 15 kilonewtons then we have FGF equals to 20 kilonewtons and FAG equals to 15 kilonewtons and its direction is tension here if ag and fgf is also tension in joint a we have two unknown forces fab and f faf and we have to determine the components of faf the unknown information the known information is we have here 2 and we have here 3 then we have to determine the angle this angle theta equals to 10 inverse 2 over 3 and it tends to be 56.31 then we apply the equations of equilibrium then we have fy summation of fy equals to zero we have five downstairs downwards and uh, plus 15 upwards minus f a f multiplied by uh, sine 56.31 equals to zero so we get FAF equals to sorry about, sorry about that but we don't have this 5 kilonewtons then we have FAF equals to 18 kilonewtons then we apply the second equation of equilibrium that is summation of FX equals to 0 we have FAB pointing to the left so it's minus uh, minus FAF that is 18 because I'm 56.31 equals to 0 then we have FAB equals Oh, here in the diagram we have AX that is 20 kilonewtons 20 kilonewtons then we have to add it here then FAB equals to 10 kilonewtons 
and its compression since it's positive. Coming to point uh, to joint B, we have summation of f x equals to zero. We have minus six point six six four plus ten minus f b e. We want the horizontal component. We have here four three, and this is five. Then the horizontal component is four by five multiplied into that force equals to zero, and from this we get f b e equals to four point seventeen kilonewtons. And that is uh, compression. Okay. Then we have summation of Fy equals to zero. So the forces in the y direction are minus five plus FBF minus FBE, that is 4.17 multiplied by the vertical component that is 3 over 5 equals to 0 then we get FBF to be 7.5 exactly 7.5 kilonewtons and that is intention Finally, we get to joint F, summation of Fx equals to 0. We have 20 in the negative direction. This is 20 plus Fef. Let's get a look at Fef. This is Fe, remember? We have here. Four and three, so this is five. So the horizontal component of the force in this member is Fe multiplied by four by five, multiplied by four over five, plus eighteen multiplied by. This this is uh, the, uh, the force in this member is eighteen, and this angle is five six point three five six point uh, three one as we as we found it previously. So the horizontal component is eighteen cosine this angle. Eighteen cosine five six point three one. And that's it, equals to zero. And from this we get FEF equals to 12, 12.51 or 52 kilonewtons. That is intention. I hope you enjoyed viewing this uh, solution.